Hello guys, my name is Hassan Abdullah and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is another video we are going to lighten set of distance and get the IP render. Before that, we should add a few adjustments and light this camera in the render setup. Let's do this. I want going to the click on this button and going to the render element and added the two elements. One of them is the very denoiser and another is the light mix. Okay, and I'm going to the very denoiser parameters and change the denoiser engine to NVIDIA AI denoiser. And like this camera, quad 4 VRA cam 01 and click this button and lock that. Okay, and now let's go to the top view and start with the creative ray sun and you can find right here. And I'm going to the create ray sun and let's just click and drag and drop there. And we're going to do use the video sky and push that yes button. And I'm going to the move up the ray sun nearly almost there. It's okay. I want going to the ray cam and get the IPR render. Okay. Now, I'm going to create the glass material for the window. I click on P and go to the perspective and select that the plane and I'm going to the material diffuse going to black color and rise the reflection and rise that refraction to white and assign that to this plane. Now, you can see, I'm going to the ray cam and get the another hyper render. Now we can see that what we have. And I'm going to add the exposure layer. I click on this button and add the exposure and increase the exposure tab a little. And of course, reduce the highlight burn to clean the burning the material. You can see that over here. And of course, rise the contrast. A little more to get the brightly sun. And is perfect. Now I want to add a uh, very light plane in this box. I want to click on it and turn on the auto grid and go into perspective and Alt plus Q to isolate that this wall and create the ray light. Click and drag until here. And I want to rotate this target of light. Turn on. And the angle is 90 degrees. Rotate. And the target going to the bottom. A little have a space with the light and the wall. Okay and exit the isolate and go into the V-ray cam and shift plus F and get uh, another and I can use the region render on this and get the IPR it's perfect and I want to increase that the multiply of this light with the light mix that is the light we need one two light five it's so perfect uh, i can to change the temperature of this light like this to calculate with the kelvin to going to 38 so perfect i 
and of course we should to sense to convert that this uh, light mix setting to the sense uh, of course yes and I want to do the special thing and I'm going to select that gray sense and change the color mode that's the default setting is the filter and I want to change to override we have a more brightly and white plants of this render we can see that now we have a white temperature and it's so clean and so softly I think it's so better and now I want to add the IES light going to here and create the video IES and this click drag and drop okay push the F3 and on top view I'm going to go over here here is perfect and move down and the, that light moving down and now is okay and we want to copy of this of course instance mode and another and now it's perfect going to the v cam and of course we should add the is file and I want to do that here like this it's okay and I want to get uh, another IPR render and we have this here is 3 and increase the multiply to the 10 and change the temperature like to 38 oh, oh, and okay and another increase now it's very awesome it's amazing and of course push that the uh, two cents button and yes and get to another repeat that the IP render We have the three lights and I want to give the glass material to the, this hole of light. I'm going to focus on that right here. Yes, of course. Another. And right here. Go to the V-Ray cam and get uh, another render of top bottom. I increase that. Let's see that. What the happened here? Let's check that. Okay, we should uh, give a mesh light of this, and now we want to do that. Gray light and change type to mesh and click drag on here. And in the modify setting, I want to pick mesh and click that. Now we have it. Let's try that and check this now we have this and i want to delete that two of them and copy an instance over there okay okay
copy I don't want that and now right here and the last of them no now finally and we can change the temperature of this to the 38 or no and we can turn on the invisible this light and it's amazing And finally, I want to push that two cents button and get uh, another and the final render of this. And I hope you like this video. And please like and leave a comment if you like. Thank you for watch this video and have a good time.